Hello there, Aquarius friends, and welcome to your 2020 annual yearly forecast here on my channel, Healing Tea Talk. My name is Myra, and I'm so glad you decided to click on this video and join me to get a sense, get some guidance as to what is coming up for you guys for the year 2020. We are embarking on a new decade. It's a very exciting time, Aquarius, and I'm very, very excited about what's coming up for you guys. So with that being said, you guys, we're going to, I'm going to say a quick prayer and then we're going to get overall um, advice for the year. And then we will do a, uh, do your spread for each month of 2020. Okay. So Father, I thank you for my Aquarius friends, and I thank you for all of the wonder and the splendor that you have in store for them for 2020. I pray for the highest level of divine guidance. Thank you, Archangel, Spirit Guides of the highest, most holy divine order. Thank you, ancestors, and thank you, Jesus. All right. All right, Aquarius, here we go. Right off the top on notes from the universe on love and connection, you have, you know what to do. All right. This says, in all battles of the heart over the mind, Aquarius, Go with your heart because it's truly a lot easier for your mind to catch up with your heart than for your heart to catch up with you, with your mind a whole lot easier. And we know that this is true, Aquarius, because you guys are not necessarily emotional. Issues of the heart or matters of the heart don't come to you um, as easily as issues of the mind and the intellect because you guys are just brilliant in that way um, and very much an air sign you guys think a whole, whole lot so this card is encouraging you one it's affirming that you do know what to do uh, many of you are highly highly intuitive highly highly intelligent so I just feel like overall in the month of 2020 you got in the year of 2020 you guys will have a really good sense of what to do when it comes to making decisions with your heart over your mind or vice versa the card is advising you guys to go with your heart it may take some time to figure out what that really means for you but you will know what to do and this could also be confirming that matters of love are of significance to you guys in 2020. I heart you is the card here. And it says, if everyone really knew how much they were loved, not only from above, but by those now in their life, there'd be little hearts drawn on everything from wheelbarrows to skyscrapers to jumbo jets. And I so look forward to that day love the universe. So love could be a big thing for you guys in 2020. Um, you may find that that is coming from someone else towards you or vice versa, Aquarius. You guys may be loving somebody in 2020. So let's get one more advice or oracle card from this angel guidance deck here. And we are looking for advice, Holy Spirit, for my Aquarius friends for 2020 any advice for them out of this deck and it is all right you guys it says to ask this says ask us meaning your angels to help you in the situation and we will immediately go to work on your behalf we're governed by many universal laws and among them is the free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions definitely goes along with this Aquarius so here's the thing if you want love I feel like you guys will need to ask for help as it relates to love or any other thing that you want okay so this is just a reminder overall energy is to ask for assistance make sure that you realize you have help from your angels there with you guys and it says to let your past go Aquarius right here this says the burden of carting around your past has made you tired so it's time to set this burden down keep only the lessons and the love and leave everything else behind you don't want it or need it and it is now gone all right so we will get some guidance here for you guys for 2020 Aquarius friends I'm excited to go on this adventure with you let's do this all right, Holy Spirit. So can we get a card for January 2020 for my Aquarius friends? January 2020 for my Aquarius friends. Thank you. All right, you guys. So we have the Knight of Pentacles 
and we have the Knight of Swords and a Knight of Cups. How interesting is that, Aquarius? So it looks like you could be, as it relates to money and finance, things could be moving a little slow, right? But they're moving, Aquarius, they're moving as you enter January, okay? Now you could have some really clear endeavors here with your mind. Your mind could be sharp as a tack and it looks like love is moving towards you, you guys. So there could be a love interest, a, can a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, um, but it looks like all three are, you're taking action in all three areas in the month of January, Aquarius. This is really neat so you guys could get some kind of message of love um, could get um, there's a page of cups here so there's either going to be some kind of apology coming to you um, or a message of love coming to you Aquarius at the top of the year okay um, very very interesting you guys very interesting you know aquarius i just feel like you guys are in a very aggressive and proactive energy as we start 2020 you are ready for just about anything okay um all righty let's look at february holy spirit as it relates to my aquarius friends february 2020 please All righty, let's see here. So we have the Hierophant, the Five of Cups, and the Seven of Pentacles, you guys. So what this says to me, the Hierophant card is a Taurus card, but it also speaks to matters. I feel like it has to do with maybe you'll find yourself uh, in in um, church or, you know, there's some kind of loss or regret that maybe makes you turn more um, towards heaven, right? That causes you to pray. Okay. Um, as it relates to finances, you can find yourself sort of stagnated, uh, at a standstill, sort of reevaluating a situation, um, and seeing what is the next best course of action. But I feel like something happened in February, Aquarius, where it has you really praying for guidance and direction. Okay, and then we have your energy, the Six of Swords here, which is about traveling or moving ahead or moving forward. So you may be praying or asking for guidance as to where you should go, what you should do um, um, as it relates to travel or moving forward. Okay, because the Seven of Pentacles there is about patience, but it's also about analyzing where you've been and sort of taking stock of where she where you should go next underneath that was a four of wands to aquarius so you could be really thinking about taking a love commitment to a higher level and really could be seeking guidance and prayer about how to do that and when to do that all right so taking things to the next level are we in february let's take a look at march 2019 Alrighty, we have the Ten of Wands here. Okay, so this is a lot of responsibility, uh, Aquarius. It's feeling a little stressed out, a little burdened, and here's the Chariot card. So it looks like you could be moving, right? And it could be a lot on you. This is also making a choice, but it's vict victorious. It's victorious energy. So you guys could decide to go forward with some plans to move or to relocate. Could be a lot of responsibility on you and there's also a ten of swords here so you could be ending or seeing the end of some really really tough times in uh march of 2020 but we also see victory here um something happened so if there is some kind of betrayal or hardship it may cause you guys to be a little more conservative this four of pentacles helps me to understand that you may be saving your money and be a little bit more frugal as well in the month of march so you may find yourself holding on to your resources um and sort of rebuilding after especially after a big move if you do decide to move okay so that is your uh, March energy let's take a look at April April 2020 
for my Aquarius friends. Okay, you guys, so we have the Two of Swords in reverse. So this is about being very decisive. This is about being decisive. Maybe you were torn at one time between an Earth sign and uh, a fire sign, but not in April. It looks like you guys really are ready to make a choice. You have two people here, two queens. The Queen of Wands is definitely in her power. She's a very, very assertive and a courageous person. The queen of pentacles is a bit conservative, right? Likes the finer things in life, uh, much more steady, slow paced and stable. The queen of wands so follows her desires. So you could find yourself uh, betwixt two people in April and you make a decision though. Um, and it also could be you being very courageous as it relates to career and you, you know, are willing to make some bold, courageous moves that pan out very lucrative for you guys. OK, let's take a look at May 2020, please. Very decisive energy. All right. For May, we have the eight of wands, which is a, oh, the six of swords and the five of cups. So you guys are definitely, there's a lot of movement and travel for you guys. Um, the five of cups indicates some type of loss, okay? So you guys could be traveling as it relates to some type of grief or loss. This is also an uptick in activity, um, but the, the six of swords definitely indicates some kind of movement or shift, some traveling. So you could be doing a lot of traveling in the month of May. OK, um, you could get some news or information that causes you to have to travel. And it could be something that is, is sad news or something like that, because we do see a page of wands here. So there's some information or news that you get that causes you to have to travel. And then there is a three of wands. So being at a distance from someone. OK, so just keep that in mind for the month of May. Let's take a look at June. June 2020 for my Aquarius friends. June 2020. Okay, you guys. So we have the Empress card here and the Page of Swords. So it feels a little bit to me like the Empress is about, it's very Venus energy. Um, and it, uh, Venus and Taurus, but it also feels to like there's some kind of information that you find out, like maybe you find out somebody is pregnant, maybe, maybe you find out someone is, there's some information that you get sort of third party uh, in, um, in uh, June. Aquarius. Okay. Um, but it also could be, and then I see the five of swords. So what I think is you could be blocking someone, um, because the five of swords is sort of winning at all costs. I feel like you figure something out or you may notice somebody is getting some attention as it relates to love. You don't really like it. And so you figure out some kind of way to chase off other suitors, perhaps. Um, and so this is sort of what it's looking like, but it is definitely indirect aggression, <laughs> Aquarius, in the month of June as it relates to love. OK, it feels very territorial as well, Aquarius. That's very interesting. Um, the, the Empress can also be very entrepreneurial energy. But in this case, there was a nine of cups under there as well, which is about wish fulfillment. It is about emotion and love. So you can find yourself being a little bit territorial as it relates to love. Uh, for July, you have the two of wands here. So you guys could be at a crossroads if you are still dealing with two people here. Um, you could be wondering if the grass is greener on the other side <laughs> in the month of July and the devil card is here. Okay, so you could be feeling like your hands are tied by a situation and you need to make a choice and cut someone out of your life, uh, Aquarius, by July. Okay, so just, you know, 
there's there's definitely two people in the picture it looks like around april and you could be really struggling with making a choice you travel to be see someone someone else has something else going on and it looks like around july you just feel really feel pretty trapped like your hands are tied and you're at a point where you really really need to make a decision um and it looks like even though you have you know a lot of what you want you're still looking at something else that's a little less significant in your hand to see if you'd rather have that instead okay let's take a look at august august 2020 holy spirit for my aquarius friends all right guys so we have the two of pentacles and the six of pentacles here so this is about give and take you guys could be more willing to compromise in the month of august and this is another advice card that was sitting there which is about giving and receiving so this is about reciprocity you guys could also find that you're really busy in the month of august and you need help from someone else it could be that earth sign uh, capricorn virgo or taurus um, from april but you there's a little bit more willingness to give and take with somebody this is also about financial balance okay and needing to um, use some mindfulness when you're spending okay but things are, are still pretty even keel and pretty balanced okay you could still though be juggling between the earth and the uh, fire sign at that time too Just a second, Aquarius. All righty, so let's take a look at September. September 2020, Holy Spirit. For my Aquarius friends. Oh, that's a lot of cards. Can we reduce that, please? September 2020. For my Aquarius friends. Oh, oh all right. Hold on a second, Aquarius. September 2020 for my Aquarius friends. Alrighty, guys. So it looks like we have the King of Swords and the Eight of Cups. All right. So you guys know that the King of Swords is your energy and it is being very decisive and in your power. The Eight of Cups here is about doing more soul searching, the need to take a look at matters of the heart. OK, so you could be really, really you know, have achieved quite a bit in your career, but you're still not feeling fulfilled. So this is you having some level of accomplishment, but still feeling like there's one cup missing. There's eight cups here, but a nine of cups is total wish fulfillment. OK, so you can find yourself having some kind of aha moment in September. OK, and find yourself really missing someone. There is a queen of cups down here so you can find yourself really missing someone and willing to face the truth about a situation and willing to openly communicate with somebody about your feelings. OK, let's take a look at. October. All right, October 2020, please. October 2020, Holy Spirit, thank you. From my Aquarius friends, October 2020. All right, guys, I see the star card. So this is, this could be uh, wishes or dreams coming true. There's a five of pentacles here, which is a need for healing. Someone could, uh, by October, make a decision for you. If you don't make a decision, Aquarius, and you could find yourself sort of out in the cold or vice versa. But it does feel like there is some healing that takes place for you guys in the month of October. All right. And you can find yourself starting over single, suddenly single and and like, OK, I'm going to venture out feeling very, very adventurous, adventurous, um, ready to do go on another soul quest, having done some soul searching 
and you're ready to explore once again. Can we take a look at November 2020, please, Holy Spirit? November 2020 for my Aquarius friends. November 2020. Thank you. All right, you guys. So the Six of Cups is here and the Seven of Pentacles as well as the Sun card. So Aquarius, you can find that in the month of November, there could be, you could be really evaluating a relationship with someone from the past and really, really looking at, you know, a very, very, um, now there was a tower and I literally put this section of the deck on top because, <laughs> so I'm telling you that because there could be a tower moment coming for you guys in November where you really are thinking about the past, really evaluating how things went down and deciding that you think you could be really, really happy with someone. Um, there could also be news of a child or conception in November. It could bring a lot of joy and it also could be life changing at the same time. You also could find yourself really, really working a lot too. Aquarius in November. And let's see how you're going to close out 2020. Now, again, you guys have the power of choice. This is all things being equal and you things being as they are now, but this is just guidance. Okay. Um, you have the power to choose to create your destiny, however you wish. Time is fluid. Okay. But this is just a, an overview. Okay. If nothing changes and as things stand and as they look today, Aquarius. All right. And can we look at December 2020, Holy Spirit, for my Aquarius friends? All right. And the King of Cups is here. This is Cancer Pisces Scorpio. The King of Cups is very, very um, trusting. OK, it is love, but I do see a ten of swords here. So I don't know if you're going to feel betrayed by love. Aquarius friends, or if you're still remembering um, hurt about love from the past, but you could be deciding just to be single, even though love is there for you. Um, but this is manifesting, also being able to manifest what you desire. OK, um, I also see a very vibrant ten of cups here. So, you know, it feels like love is trying to come in for you, Aquarius, a very happily ever after here you could just be holding on to feelings of betrayal from the past but it really really feels like love is trying to come in for you and that the universe is really trying to help you um yeah firmly firmly embrace love because we have the four of wands which is about levels of commitment because i was going to say that the king of cups is about love you can trust it is about commitment to one person okay and so you know that's why I believe wholeheartedly your guidance was you know what to do and matters of the heart and matters of the heart go with the heart over your head. I think it could save you some heartache too if you, you know, really take a look at matters of the heart over the head. It will keep you from having to have regret or feelings of loss later where you're thinking about the past and oh, that's what I should have done. I really wish I had done X, Y, Z. So I really believe Aquarius that that's why your guidance is what it is. And for you guys to truly let the past go so you can embrace this very beautiful, happy, stable love life. Look at that. Very stable, happy, happy, um, uh, happily ever after. So love comes to find you, Aquarius. It does. There's a song by Tori Kelly and an artist named Lecrae called, um, I'll find you. And that's what it's really showing me is that, um, uh, the lyrics are something about, um, hold on my friend. It's all worth it in the end. And when you find nobody to turn to, just hold on and I'll find you. I feel like that about love for you, 
Aquarius. Love is going to find you. All right, you guys. I love it dearly. You may be a little bit resistant, resistant to change, Aquarius, but I think you will find balance in that as it relates to love you guys all right all right aquarius friends i loved doing this reading for you if you would like to get your own personal 2020 forecast then please go to my website healingtalk.com information will be in the description box below and i look forward to seeing you in 2020 god bless you guys take care